Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue from OML Embroidery and OML Digitizing and today we are working in Hatch and I'm going to show you guys this quick tip on cloning and I absolutely love cloning. I think it's um, so useful and once I found out about it I use it all the time. So what we're going to do is let's just pick a design and I'm going to show this to you really quickly. How about this embroidered monogam um, pillow. Now, by the way, if you didn't know, all of these designs that you see here are native EMB files and they come with the software. So you have a lot of different things. This is pretty lace. This is letters. This is um, freestanding lace. Um, a lot of really intricate ones. That's one of my favorite right there. Um, pretty Jacobean flowers. This is um, freestanding lace. And anyways, you can use them to play around with, but let's just pick this one because it's simple and I'm just going to show you. And this one's really easy and it's kind of a pretty monogram. So what we're going to do is select it, select the whole thing. It's all grouped. You can tell that by, see how it turns blue on this side here. And I'm going to show you cloning. So all you have to do is right click, drag, done. That was it. Instead of going up here, now they have, you can easily duplicate it, right? And then you get another copy. That's fine. Let's delete that. But all you have to do is right click, hold it, move it where you want it, done. And what this will do is copy over everything. It's an exact positive clone of what you were working on. Now, if you want to make more than one and move them around, that would be super easy to do. You don't have to go anywhere else. Just right click, hold, and it's done. Sometimes I use this if I wanted to make some weird changes just like on the side and just see if something's going to work. I will clone it over, try something. If it doesn't work, then I just delete it. And then I'm not messing up my original. So I find it super handy. The other thing you can do, um, we're going to select it. I'm going to right click and hold to do the cloning. And I'm going to drag it up here to the first design and let go. Now it has cloned it onto a different page for me if you'd prefer to work that way. Keep in mind though that it clones it perfectly and so perfectly it's going to put it in the same coordinates that we took the original from. If you can see that that's true, there it is. It's in the exact same position here on the ruler. But if you want to quickly work on something differently, um, the cloning is amazing. Right click, hold, slide it to where you want. I think it's brilliant. And that, my friends, is a quick tip video on how you use cloning here inside Wilcom Hatch Embroidery. Thanks, everyone, for watching. More quick tip, tip videos coming up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video to let me know that you want more videos just like this. Thanks, everyone.